Hey up everyone, we are back and today we are finishing another trowel handle for Phil Packwood. He got in touch with me last night, said that he really loved the way that the other one looked, so we're going to do the other one, this one, um, exactly the same as that, so we've gone the same. Just taking the old, the old handle off, um, it was a bit of a bugger, I had to burn it off uh, at the front because it was glued in rock solid. So um, yeah, let's get straight over to the lathe and we'll get straight into this process. Let's go. Okay, here we go. We're on the lathe, between centers. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're just marking out for the tang now. So that's what we want. That's for the length. Okay, that's the uh, front of the tang section sorted. So let's just, that looks good to me. Let's just check it out. It's a touch tight up at the top, but that'll be lovely.
quick one guys for you on the video that I put on yesterday. I did say, leave me some constructive criticism or leave us a comment. Um, it's no good to me if you leave a thumbs down and I don't actually know what it's for. I can't reply to a thumbs down because I have no idea what it is that you're actually thumbing me down for. So everybody's got a different style. I mean, I've watched loads and loads and loads of wood turning videos. Um, nobody's nobody's taught me. I haven't I haven't been to no classes. I haven't uh, I haven't done anything before regarding wood turning. I brought a lathe. I inherited some tools from my grandfather uh, ten years ago. It was always a it was always a thing that I wanted to get into. And so yeah, that's how that's how I've started out really. So yeah, I mean I'm always open to constructive criticism. If it's going to help me along my way, then just just let me know. Just let me know if you're a wood turner yourself and you're thumbing me down and you don't like the way that I do things. What I've what I have learned from watching videos and everything is do it your own way. Do what feels comfortable for you and I do what feels comfortable for me. It may not be the right technique, but it's what's working for me at the moment. As I get into the tools and everything else, um, we'll get better. We'll get better. Techniques will get better. So every, every day is a, a new learning process. So just stick with it. And we will be getting on some different projects once I've got these orders out of the way for these handles. So some people, some, some people don't like what you do. Some people don't do. It's just one of them. You've just got to uh, keep it nice. Keep it nice, easy. Enjoy what you do, and uh, that's it basically. Just just have fun, especially in the times that we're in at the minute. We just gotta gotta have fun and try as best to get by until all this crap's over with. So yeah, let's carry on. The tang area now is ready. I am now going to switch over to this butte. So let's go. And just double check because like I've said before you with wood you can you can never put it back on you don't want to start it's it's ruined basically once the piece has been assembled like that there now look that is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful Welch off with that that's great so we'll carry on now and the reason for these uh, the reason for these handles that people are asking me for is that apparently the the other handles that are coming on the trowels um, are no good and they've been no good for years. I mean, I'm not a bricky myself. I mean, I've done a little bit of brick laying with Changi, but it's it's not my trade. It's not what I specialise in. If someone asks me for an handle or someone wants me to modify something for them, I'll I'll modify it. It's as simple as that. If if people are liking it, I mean, people I've got people sending me trowels. I've got look. Paul Winters, Izzy's next. Um, brand new in the package, brought from from the shop. Uh, ten inch um, Tizak, brand new. Ten inch broad yield brick trowel. Look, brand new, brand new handle on it. But he's sending me this, and he wants me to take a brand new handle off and put a new handle on it because look at the size difference in what it's going to be. These small handles, I can't believe that these companies do not supply two different size handles some people have got smaller hands some people have got the bigger hands they just obviously apparently the brickies up and down the country do not like these small handles so that is it's a big problem for a lot of brickies apparently so that is the reason why we're doing this i mean it started out with just doing me brothers because he was having problems and he loved he absolutely loves it so i'm just doing what people are asking for so enough of the rant and let's get in it again Okay, I've just marked out for the uh, the copper stop on the back. So let's just see that feels a bit loose.
so we're putting the copper measuring up for the copper on the end now so let me get the copper okay we've got the copper on the end now now we're going to start shaping it A measurement of the thickest part so we can keep them uniform. Oh, we're still at 40 mil there. That's got to come down quite a bit. of that now i want it down to about 35 34 so we're at 38 so let's take him down more still <laughs> Okay, I think we're down now. That's uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So let's go straight in with a bit of sanding. Okay, I'll take this this rest off. It's going to get me way into it. Okay. <laughs>
you feeling me? Give us a thumbs up. This is gorgeous. I know I keep saying that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, that's the 120. 120, I mean, some people use 80 to knock it down, but that actually didn't require a great deal at all. So just have a look up and down, because what happens when it's spinning round and you've got the sandpaper on it, it leaves, it leaves scratches going round the piece, obviously, because it's spinning. So you have, that's why you have to just go up and down it, just to knock those out. But that is it's bloody lovely. It's absolutely lovely anyway. Oh yeah. Right. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump straight on to 180, then we're gonna go 240, 320, 400 and 600. require a lot at all. Okay, on with the oil. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that soak in for a minute and then I'm going to go straight over and put some more on so we've got plenty on it. Hope you like that one. That's nice. Lovely. 
We'll be back in five. Back again for the for fill it back up. Make sure it's nice and soaked. You see, pop, as soon as you stop on, it in your face. Okay, there we go. We'll be back with you once we've got off So, there we have it. Off the lathe, finished up. And that, the one on the left is the trowel handle from today. The one on the right was the other one from yesterday. And that's it, yeah, they're both finished. What do you think? The one on the left is slightly thicker, so we can choose between the two, which feels best. And I'm sure then that'll be his go-to trowel. But they look lovely. I'm just gonna be waiting for the, uh, the finish to dry out properly, and I'm gonna allow it to dry again. And then as soon as I'm happy with that, they will be sent out to you, Phil. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one again. You, some of you may think that it's getting a bit repetitive with doing the handles, but I, I did uh, say that I was going to post a video on every one that I got through, so I'm going to stick to my word, and that's what I'm going to do. So, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs down, whichever you prefer. Um, if you like this content, if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Leave us a comment, I'd appreciate that. Um, until next time, which is going to be tomorrow, we're going to get into Phil Winters. So look out for that, Phil. We'll be on that one tomorrow. And keep it nice and easy, guys. See you later.